Well, hello, guys. This is Effie, the bonus elephant, coming to you live for flipping and sipping. Well, hello, Mary Beth. Is this Mary Beth the dino? Yes, yes, it is, Laura. Can you tell me a little bit about your shirt? Uh, I don't know. Katie, Katie made it on the printer today and hung this big <laughs> honking bird across my chest and put some earrings on me so I'd be presentable tonight, you know, for the flipping and sipping takeover. Well, tell everyone about your rock and dino band. I have a rock and dino band, but I don't know any of the members. Do you know any of the members, Katie? I think we got Effie, the bonus elephant. We got Max. We got Nikki, and we got the ice maker. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all this, all of this is kind of new to me. Well, I think the ice maker is its own special sound. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll try to incorporate that a little later on today. <laughs> and we got the, the fat bird five, right, on, on your uh, necklace there. Yes, yes, the fat bird five. And, and one earring. Did you lose an earring, Mary Beth? I think, I think so. Uh, it was a little, yeah, yeah, I have. I have lost an earring. Uh, Nikki, Nikki, can you find my earring? Oh, no, we lost an earring. Did Dixie eat it, you think? Probably, probably. Oh, my God, probably. Oh, no, Dixie and Bud, what are we going to do with them? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you got a party hat on, so you ready for the party tonight? I am ready for the party! Woo! <laughs> so, what are you drinking, Mary Beth? I got uh, Diet Coke. A little uh, Chardonnay, a little Chardonnay, maybe, or um, some Chablis, some Rosé. I don't know. Just take your pick. <laughs> that sounds pretty take good. Take your pick. You got any stories about about the uh, the college today, Mary Beth? No, not really. It was kind of dull there today. <laughs> kind of, you know, kind of dull. I was kind of over it. Well, you know, the promo you did looked great for flipping and sipping. Oh, really? Oh, well, thank you. As always, uh, you know, I have to do everything because you can't do anything electronical. I mean, you know, I have to do it all. I have to do it That's all. That's true. I'm terrible with electronics. You're terrible with electronics. I, I just can't figure anything out. But I'm getting good at the shorts. Yes! Very good at the shorts. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of those shorts for me. Yes, I can do the shorts, but I can't do anything else. I'm just I'm just technology challenged, folks. So what do we got planned for tonight? Well, Laura? should we see who's in the chat first? I think so. And I might have a little five items for sale. And we might have some games and special guests coming on. And, and do do you want to have a five city hall, Mary Beth? Sounds good to me. Whatever you say. Okay. It's your world and I'm just living in it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's say hi to some people, Mary Beth. We've got Virginia Hello in the chat. Welcome, welcome. We got Carrie tuning in. We've got TC. Greetings, TC. I don't know who this Katie is that you speak of, but uh, I'm sure she'll do just fine with her SUV getting everything home and totes. <laughs> what do you think, Mary Beth, about that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have, uh, we have uh, one girl, one girl and Alexis coming tonight to help us pack. Well, that will be excellent. We'll, we'll get all of that packed up and ready for Katie yes, to go home. Yes, yes. One girl on Alexis is on her way with supper and to help us pack up the SUV. And H.M. Parker, Holly is here. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Tim. Tia Fain's coming in from Canada. Have you been to Canada, Mary Beth? I have not. I have not ever. I was going to say, maybe that's where you lost your earring. It probably was. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Jeannie tuning in from the chat. Welcome, welcome. Blackberry Special Tea. Amy B's tuning in. We got Maria empty nesting. We've got, let's see, Sheila Fruman. Well, thank you, Mary Beth. Mm. Thank I just you, missed Dino. You so bad. I just love your shirt and I, the rock and dino band. Yeah. 
We're just going to, we're going to make some good music. Yes. And you know what? We can put that on our podcast. What do you think about that, Mary Beth? I think that would work wonderful. And we got a brand new spiffy microphone. Mary Beth, tell us all about this new microphone for our podcast. It's really, really good. Ooh, I don't know anything about the microphone. Well, I know nothing about technology. So, you know, that's just a <laughs> fancy microphone and be picked out. It's supposed to be the best. <laughs> We got Dear Angela's Vintage <laughs> tuning in. Jamie's tuning in. Welcome, welcome. Mick Drifting in the Holler. LaDonna Durbin is here. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Hello, everybody. Michelle is tuning in. Tiger is tuning in. Welcome, Tiger. We got Shelby tuning in. TC is having fun. <laughs> Vintage Gates is here. Welcome, everybody. Nikki, so can glad. you refresh my wine, baby? Please, Nick, refresh my wine. Hang on, hang on. Oh, we got to get more wine. That's very, very, very important. All right, Mary Beth will be back. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Oh, I got a nice, refreshing drink. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Mm. Oh. It was parched. Thank you, Nikki. That's excellent. It would have been nice if you would have got me something that I could drink out of, but my mouth's all taped up and I only have three <laughs> fingers, so you're going to have to do the countdown yourself, sister. Well, you've only got like a couple of teeth. I don't know what happened there very fast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's been a rough ride today. I'm telling you, it's been a rough ride. Well, I think that ice maker uh, might have exploded during the grant band practice today. Yes, probably. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. We're glad you're here. Jerry's here. My Flea Market Treasures. Lori Gerdo is tuning in. JoJo Mama. Brenda Bat. Joanne oh. Johnson. All of our friends are here, Mary Beth. This is exciting, oh, isn't I it? I love it. I love seeing everybody. Hi, Carol Fry. Thank you Welcome so much everyone. for tuning in. We've got B Avenue Thrifter coming in. <laughs> Muddy Ward. Is tuning in, Laura Moon Woman, <laughs> Elba. Yes, lots of friends tuning in. Hi, we've got uh, some friends in the chat, and and uh, the uh, other Laura and Mary Beth will be back next week. Is that right, Mary Beth? Yes, yes. At what time will those shows start on their channel, Fat Bird Finds? On their channel, I believe it is ten Eastern and nine Central. Oh, that is just perfect. Hi, Chad. Welcome to the chat. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, let's see. Yeah, Mary B., tell us a little bit about your Flavor Flav necklace. Oh, um, yes. This is, this is a priceless piece of 14 karat gold. 14 karat gold. Laura's been trying to get it from me all day, but yeah. I've refused to give it up. Well, because I think we could sell it, right, on the Fat Bird 5? I don't think so, no. I think it needs to stay with MB then. I think so. And MB wants her, her precious 14 karat gold Flavor yes. Flav necklace. What am I going to wear if I, on my Harley, you know? That's true. How am I going to ever replace it? And you're going to wear your party hat, right? Yes, I'm going to wear my party hat. Well, I'll tell you what. I got a story for you. So mm -hmm. Mary Beth and I went down to the bank today. And man, that bank line was really long. Ooh. And they just could not get what we needed through the drive through It was an absolute mess. We waited and waited, and there was a guy whooping and hollering about some app that doesn't work. We just had a time, didn't we, Mary Yes, Beth? yes, we did. And then yes. we drove to another one, and there was a guy that was asleep in the drive through Yes, and nobody seemed to care, but Mary, but Laura and I... Nobody cared at all. We were like, call the police. They did, they acted like the police were some from some alien planet. Didn't even know how to get in touch with them. Yep. They just didn't want to work. So they were like, oh, the guy's just sleeping. It's fine. It was a very weird and bizarre day at the bank. <laughs> do we have anything to sell tonight? Oh, we sure do. And folks, we are going to interrupt for a very, very special message here. And we'll be right back with you. Well, 
back to you, Mary Beth. It is time for the Vintage and Vinyl 5, and we've got some fabulous items. <laughs> On the computer. I really am awful at this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it is time for the Vintage and Vinyl 5, and I have some fabulous items up for sale tonight. So uh, we're going to start with this fabulous little piece. What can you tell us about that, Laura? Well, this is a Swan Pine Oil bottle with the original paper label. It's a beehive bottle. It's got this really cool texture here. And you see it has a zip code on it. So this actually dates this bottle to after 1963 because that's when five-digit zip codes came out. So this bottle is somewhere between 1963 and probably 1970s. Oh. But with that beehive shape, I would probably assume this is 1960s. And it has a beautiful paper label in absolutely perfect condition. It has a metal screw top lid that does open up and it's been freshly cleaned we actually cleaned our items mary beth i got on that today which was great and look at that i'm so glad you did your nails as well oh yes my nails are actually okay for the first time in a while which is very <laughs> surprising because i'm always worried about my nails you know i need them to look fabulous for the for the five, and I need all of the items to be as perfect as they can be. So here is the Swan Pine Oil. This was some sort of a disinfectant of some kind, but these are just fabulous in displays. I think they look Very so good great. For Christmas? Oh yes, Christmas. For, uh, well, not Fourth of July because it's well with the red you could, but it's got green on it. But it's great any time of the year. And I love the little swan graphic. Very Magpie Ethel. Do you follow Magpie Ethel? Mary I do. Beth? I do. I love her. I love her. So, all right. So this is the swan bottle. It is fabulous. Great piece of vintage. Great for displays. You could put anything you want into it. It's just awesome. And it can be yours for $12 by giving me number 10. $12, number 10 for the swan pine oil, if you would like it. Oh, that's a bargain. That's a and I do see people asking for a Max picture. Should we give them a Max picture? Oh, yes. Well, I've got a Max picture right here for you guys. Uh, let's see. Let me pull that up. I think, Mary Beth, you loaded this into the computer for everybody, yes, didn't yes, you? Yes, yes, I did. Yes. All right. Well, let's see if I can work that darn technology. Okay. There's a Max picture. Oh! Isn't he cute? Look at the little Look smile the on the little, little guy. Dickens. Look at him. He's just darling, oh. isn't he? He's growing up so fast, that little whippersnapper. Getting just pudgy as a little butterball. He sure is, but he is just adorable. Mm. All right. So let's see if anyone took that swan bottle. If not, that is okay. And another fabulous item. Oh, people are loving Max. He's very cute. He is adorable. All right. So the next item I have up in the Fat Bird 5 is an adorable little Trafari poodle pen. <gasps> what do you think of him, Mary Beth? He's I love Trafari. Now, he's not glitter, so he's, he's not going to get on you. He's just a beautiful silver tone pen, so adorable. What about the size? What and about the he size, is Laura? two inches in size, and he is marked Crown Trafari there. So this probably dates this to the 1960s, I would believe, oh. based on that mark. And this little adorable Trafari pen can be yours for fifteen dollars by giving me number Bargain. nineteen. Bargain! <laughs> yes, we like to give good deals here. On the fat bird finds. And there it is. $15, number 19, for this adorable little poodle. And unfortunately, Max is not for sale. Oh, we got to take her. Leanne C. would like that. Thank Fabulous. you, Leanne. Oh, thank you, Leanne. I will write your name down for that. Yay! 
And of course, I will not be getting to shipping until over the weekend since uh, it takes us uh, over the weekend to get shipping out. But shipping will be happening when uh, the fat bird finds and the bonus elephant returns to Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got another fabulous item coming up for you. I think this is just so fun. And I found this at the shed, Mary Beth. Can you believe that? Look at this. Oh, yes, I can believe it. We find everything at the shed. The shed is the shed. so amazing. And this is a 1960s tab soda bottle. But look at the Starburst Your, your face, Laura, your face. Oh, no. Oh, no. Always my face. Is that better, Mary Beth? Yes, a little bit. Yes. All right. Well, we've got the fabulous Starburst on this bottle. It's a product of the Coca-Cola Company. Tab did come, come out originally in the 60s. And look at the cool font on the tab. This bottle's in perfect condition. It is just gorgeous and so mid-century and fun and great in a display. Love it. And Love it. this 1960s tab bottle can be yours for $12 by giving me number seven. Just $12, number seven for the mid-century tab bottle. All right. Good job. Well, thank you, Mary Beth. Yes, the shed has everything. And we've got just a few more items here. I think it's time for our first offer up, Mary Beth. What yes. do you think? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I see Joanne Johnson for number seven. Thank oh, you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you so much. Let me write this down here. Okay. Joanne Johnston, we got you for the tab bottle. And what are we going to do for the offer up? I've got something pretty fabulous. I don't think you've seen this yet, Mary Beth, have you? I don't believe so, no. Okay, well, I went on a special trip all the way to the Telephone Museum in St. Louis, Missouri. And I got a private pick of some of their advertising <gasps> and things they get in. And looky ah! what I have in an offer up starting at $15. I have Are those all vintage? of these vintage original princess phone keychains. These were given away by the Bell Telephone System with princess phones. Now, the princess phone originally came out in 1959, but it had an external ringer. And the ringer that was actually in the base that's not external came out in 1969. So... What are, that, are, what are those little lots of five princess phone keychains starting out at? So we're going to start these out at $15. Just $15 for the whole lot. And you're going to get all of them. And you're going to get a little mid-century kind of kitschy blue one here. And they are marked on the bottom. Princess Phone Company. How cool is that? They have their original hangers. Each one is a different color. You get a... A different color so you can have an instant collection so here's the blue princess phone you're going to get the green princess phone and these are pretty small they're little keychain sizes so there it is green princess phone let's put it up uh to the dino Mary Beth, so you can kind of get a scale see yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're just so cool i love them though. and I then love them. you're going to get a yellow one so you can get the yellow phones, and all of these are in beautiful condition. The oh! white is just perfect. You get a little white one. Oh, I like the white. And then you're going to get the ever-elusive pink one. Yes, <gasps> folks, the pink ones are hard to find. So you are going to get a pink one. And I see Kitty Grandma saying she wanted a princess phone when it came out. Well, you know, my mom had a princess phone in yellow when it came out. Did you have a princess phone, Mary Beth? I did. I did have a princess phone. Mine was pink, of course. Oh, pink. That's kind of surprising for you, Mary Beth. I know. I know. Surprisingly, everybody wanted the pink. I wanted a purple. And so they didn't have such a thing. Well, you know what? We have Jamie at $30. And we are going to start the countdown on these fabulous pieces. And so the countdown is going to start going once, going twice, and sold. Beep, beep, oh, beep, 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 beep. Congratulations, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
And we have a stop in the chat. So all of these fabulous phones are now heading to Mid-Century Wasted. You are going to love these. All right. I got you written down. Thank you so much, Jamie. All right. And everyone, while we're selling in the chat, feel free to put in what you are sipping on for the evening. I want to know what's going on in your drinks at home. And now we've got two more items, two more fabulous items. This next piece is a beautiful 1930s oh, bottle. What do you think of this, Mary Beth? I love those old vanity bottles. They're just so cool. This one has an old paper label for apple blossom cologne. Uh -huh. Now, we both looked and couldn't find this, could no, you, Mary no. Beth? I, I could not find anything about that bottle. Nope. I looked and looked. It does say that it's made by the Lionel Gordon Company, I believe. But there's uh -huh. something in the bottom there that I can't read that it is a little faded. But the label overall is pretty amazing for the fact that this is from the 30s. Oh, yes, It has yes, a yes. yellow lid with a little bit of wear, but just the perfect amount of vintage. And that's the bottle there. And I did wash it today, so there's a little bit of water in the bottom. I'll get out. There's the bottom there. Love that kind of Art Deco shape. Big fan of these bottles. This would be so great on a dipsy doodle or a dresser scarf. Right, Mary Beth? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this bottle can be yours for a great price of only $12 by giving me number eight. $12, number eight for the 1930s. Fantastic price. Fantastic price. Art Deco Apple Blossom Cologne. And we got just a few more items in the Fat Bird Finds before we get up to our special guests. And let's see if any takers are on that. And then we will move on to our next item. All right. We have another. Is that our last in our five? This is the last in our five. Oh! Besides maybe something special. Oh, that's true. That's true. We got a surprise for them. We right, have a Mary surprise. Beth? Oh, you can see the next item peeking up a little bit. Okay, we have an afghan. Look at this, folks. Oh, we just love the linens here on Fatbird Pines. And look at this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous afghan. It is very soft. It is 72 by 77. This is going to start out at $25 in the chat if you guys are interested. Look at the colors on this, Mary Beth. Have it's you like a ever... rainbow, like a rainbow. I just love the mint green oh. colors here that fade the dark emerald to the mint. You've got the blue and the navy sea, Fat Bird Finds colors. Mm -hmm. And then we've got yellows and oranges and peaches here. Kind of hard to tell, but this is a peachy pink. you got orange, kind of a lighter orange, and then that dark orange. Just like your bird, Mary Beth, in the chat. Yes, Exactly yes. that color. And a beautiful afghan. This is in wonderful condition. It has not been washed, but I can do that if you prefer. I like to leave linens unwashed and let the buyer decide. I see Shelby at 35. And this has a beautiful edge here. That's kind of scalloped-like, although it's not I'm exactly... a ripple afghan, a ripple afghan. Can Laura. A oh, a ripple afghan. A ripple well, see, afghan. Mary Beth is teaching me something. Mm -hmm. Mary Beth is doing so well with all this mm -hmm. vintage. And it is just a beautiful piece. So let me try to hold it up so you get the full effect of it. There it is. And this is so soft, so cozy, so wonderful. And it will match any decor you have because of all of its multiple colors. It would be gorgeous on a bed. Yes, great for napping, proud American. I totally agree. So, uh, yes, chevron. Yes, it is in a chevron pattern, Heidi. All right, let's see. Who do we have? We've got Cor uh, Corey LaPlante at $36. Welcome, Corey. So glad Hi, you're Corey. here. All righty. Well, we are going to start the countdown, folks. All righty. Going once. Mary Beth, will you be our timer for the evening? I uh, would be, but I only have three fingers. Oh, no. Well, when I count down, can you make a timer noise? Yes. That way our audience can hear. So going once. Ding. Going twice. Ding. Sold. Ding, 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 ding. 
Yay. All righty. I put this top in the chat. And Nikki's out getting some more ice, so she can't put oh. any of this into Sorry. the chat. Sorry. I'm finding it hard to get up off the stool. <laughs> We've got, oh, there's Nikki. She's back with the ice. Oh, she's refreshing my drink. Isn't this so lovely? Oh, thank you, Nikki. Oh, it's just so parched. But you can bet your sweet Bippy I'm getting a bigger stool tomorrow if anything <laughs> happens in this house. But you know, Effie, Effie has a little bit of a problem here. Effie is trying to drink and it's not working out. Mm. Oh. I think I think Effie might need to uh, take a little break from the show for a while. Anyway, here is this beautiful Afghan and Shelby. I am so sorry you came in right after the stop. <laughs> And so let me scroll back up. I think it's Corey Laplante for Things 36. Things could be worse, Shelby. You could be down here on the little potty stool. <laughs> My... <laughs> All right, Corey Laplante. Thank you. Well, Mary Beth, as we round out the Vintage and Vinyl 5, we've got one more special item tonight, Oh, don't yes. We? Let me get it. Okay. We're going to grab this fabulous item. All righty, the, la the last item. Yes, of course, we have a bonus elephant for sale straight from Alabama. He came all the way from the Alabama College Merch Store to come to you guys tonight. Now, this is a very special item because this is Laura the Elephant. Yes, Laura the Elephant. And Laura the Elephant will be traveling. So if you do win this item tonight, not only is it from Alabama, Pamela State, but it will be signed by Fat Bird Finds. They'll sign it anywhere you like on the shirt, and then they will mail it on to you. So all you have to do is pay me shipping. I will take care of the rest and pay for the item, of course. And then they'll sign it and ship it on to you. So this is Laura the Elephant, Laura the Bonus Elephant. So if you'd like this bonus elephant, we're going to start the bonus elephant off at $20 in the chat. The bonus elephant is representing Big Al. He's got his Alabama shirt on, his long trunk. He's very soft. He's a plush. He's made by this company here. Look at the little hugging bears. Isn't he adorable? And this is just his string we hung him up with for the sale. But this is this is Laura the Bonus Elephant coming to you tonight for a sale. Be signed by Pat Bird Hines, Laura Mary Beth. Super soft, wonderful ears. A very nice, well done, detailed paw. Oh, elephants don't have paws. I don't know what they have. Claw. They have claws. Okay, they have claws. No. Uh -huh. Feet. They have feet. Elephant feet. feet. Elephant feet. Okay, so here's his little elephant feet. There he is. He's got a tail. Very, very soft and nice and luscious. There you go. Roll, tide, roll. That's right. Simply Sue's. Okay. We've got Madonna Durvin at $60. All righty. And we are going to start the, the countdown. Yeah. Hooves, claws, toes, feet. I don't know. The little hooves. Horses have hooves. I don't know. He has something. He's just a little elephant. He's Laura the Bonus Elephant. He's so soft. Okay, so we are going to start the countdown on Laura the Bonus Elephant. <laughs> and we are going to go once, going twice, and we are going to say sold. All righty, sold for Laura the Bonus Elephant. Now, he will be male from Jacksonville, Florida, to Kentucky, Paducah, Kentucky, and he will be signed and then shipped off to where he needs to go. And let me check this out, and I think LaDonna Durvin, I think I see you at $60. Thank you, LaDonna. He is yours. And let me write that down over here. Uh, I think uh, Effie the Bonus Elephant is going to have to disappear for a little while because <laughs> Effie is uh, making Laura not be able to work the computer very well. <laughs> so we're, we're, we might uh, say goodbye to Effie the Elephant. So say goodbye, everybody, to Effie the Elephant. Effie might return later, but Effie is going to disappear 
There's Effie. Bye, Effie. Okay, there we go. All right, now I can, can work the computer. Madonna Durvin. There you go. Fabulous. And I am so glad, MB, that makes us feel good. Oh, and yes. You look much better, much better. I feel you just refreshed. Well, I am going to now invite some special guests on the show. We have some fabulous people waiting in the green room, and we are going to have so much fun because we are going to invite our special guests to play Vintage Mad Libs. And Dear Angela's Vintage was so sweet and sent me over some Vintage Mad Libs that I've printed out, and we're going to have fun with that. So... Uh, we are going to welcome in our guests now to the show, and I am so glad they could join us. First up, we have D, Thrill the Thrift D, and Binks. D, you're muted. Oh no, there's Binks. <laughs> D's on mute, but she is here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, D. Hello, Hi, Binks. Everyone. We're so glad to have you. Thank you. And our next guest is here. Vinny. Hello. Vinny's here. Yay. Vinny, Vinny. <laughs> Deidre, Deidre, Deidre. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys could join us tonight for some fun games. And, oh, of course, thank you guys so much. <laughs> we sure will. This has just been so much fun. Thank you all for coming to the Vintage and Vinyl 5. And now to our portion of the show where we play games. So we are really having the sipping part of the evening. And uh, Vinny, you have permission to make this saucy. I've told Vinny this, so this is going to be extra <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh, before we start, um, I don't think Dee was on Vintage Rescue Squad on Monday. Do you want to have Pam say what she said when you unplugged her Wi-Fi? Oh, yeah. So, guys... If you don't know already and you miss Vintage Rescue Squad, you're going to get a kick out of this, D. So before the show starts, right, I'm tinkering with my computer. I know I need to go live and get stuff ready. And I'm sitting over by the chair in Pam's living room. And I'm looking at the cords that are plugged in the wall. And I'm like, all right, let me unplug this one to plug in my computer. Lamp goes off. I thought, oh, that's the lamp. Shoot, I need that. So I plug that back in. And I see another one. And I'm like... Well, that white cord must be the clock. That's no big deal. I'll just reset the clock later. Pam won't mind. Not a big thing. Unplug it. Plug my computer in. Get ready to log on. No Wi-Fi. I'm like, I just was on the Wi-Fi doing invoicing. What is wrong? So I'm like shouting in the other room, Pam, are you on the Wi-Fi? She's like, no. So then Pam goes and calls the company. Well, I'm trying to log in to Vintage Rescue Squad, and I have to get on my phone now, which I don't ever do live streams from my phone. And about halfway through, the, well, not even halfway, I think it was about partway through the beginning, Pam figures out what's wrong. I had unplugged the Wi-Fi cord, which I should have recognized that cord because I just set up a Roku for Pam. So I should have remembered that was the cord for all of the technical stuff. So Pam... What you it's say? for the surge protectors and all the electrics, the electronics were hooked into. So Pam, Pam had it out apparently on my behalf with the uh, cable company because the guy kept telling her everything was right, and she's like, "No, it's not. My friend's trying to get on a YouTube live stream, and it isn't working." <laughs> Tell your friend to quit playing with the cords. <laughs> so Pam comes on. She's like. Did you unplug the Wi-Fi or unplug this cord? I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, no wonder you unplugged the Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's not what she said, though. <laughs> no, what did you say when you came on? I called him everything but a child of God. <laughs> That's what Pam No, I thought she said I was sweating harder than a slut in church. Is what I thought oh, I heard yeah, her yeah, yeah, you did say that. <laughs> she said either slut or whore. I can't remember. She said, I'm, slut. I'm sweating harder than a whore in church. <laughs> Something along those lines. And I was dying. All those good dying. things. You I was know? a nervous wreck. I really was. Poor Pam had gone on my behalf to the cable company in your eye and just unplugged the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I just gave them a glowing review when I got my 
text message asking the survey asking how my call customer service call went. I laughed my butt off. Oh, hold on. I laughed my off when you said that, Pam. I kid you not. Oh my god. <laughs> the cable tech quit that night, probably. <laughs> probably, Jamie. I got my straw, D. If we want to. Uh... Oh, damn. Well, I have one in here. Give her so, a test run. Lesson learned. Don't just go unplugging cords that you don't know what they are. <laughs> that's 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 your lesson, your life lesson for the evening from the Vintage and Vinyl Fat Bird Finds Takeover Show. <laughs> 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 All right, so we have some Mad Libs, and I don't know if you guys have ever played Mad Libs, but it, I know it's Vinny been has. Years since I have I no Mad idea Libs. what it is. Okay, so Mad Libs is so much fun. Basically, it's a word game. So I will ask you to give a noun or an adjective or a name. And basically, I will fill in the blanks of this story. You don't know what the story is. So the words are totally random. And then I'll read it out. And of course, it's oh, funny because okay. it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'll give you what the, the category, so to speak, of it is. And you guys in the chat, play along, too, and put all of the, oh, the this, words this in the good. chat, too, and we can go back and forth and pick some things. <laughs> and these are the vintage it's ones, right? Time, so they'll probably sound 10 times cool. worse than what the modern ones yes. would be. The, these particular Mad Libs are the ones from the 1950s, so they're extra funny because the ones that are more modern, they're not as funny for some reason, and I think... Vinny and I were talking about this, but I think it's because in the 50s, things were seemingly so innocent. And I know the 50s, not everything was totally innocent. Uh, you can do some research <laughs> on that. But uh, it's just, I think, funnier that way because people didn't think like we do now, you know. Right. So it's just meant to be what it is. And it's very funny. All right. All right. So are you guys ready? I Let's think so. Done. I mean, listen, it's been many years since I've been in school <laughs> trying to remember nouns, adjectives, verbs, you know, all that fun stuff. But I think I'll you be You don't remember good. School of Rock, D, Grammar <laughs> Rock? That's oh, my God. best way to remember that stuff. It is rock. School of Rock. Yep. A hundred percent. Well, maybe I shouldn't sing to him because I don't want to get Katie demonetized, but I'll, I can maybe say the lyrics normally. If you need well, assistance, here, with something. Penny, I I can play play a little bit of music to assist you. Apparently, Streamyard now has sounds, so here, there you go. That's the rock choice within Streamyard. <laughs> okay. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Did it not? I heard play? a guitar, like a... yeah, there was a guitar, but. Maybe it didn't play very loudly. I don't know. I'm just starting to play around with it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Sideshow Barker. That's the title of this Mad Libs. Oh, and we no. need the name of a man in a room. So we'll go... A man Vinny and a room. And then Vinny. And just rotate. Uh, Matthew. Okay. Matthew. That's that. All right, we need a noun, Benny. A noun. <laughs> I don't want to start out too saucy. Well, we're now into the portion of after dark vintage and final. <laughs> oh no. So what what kind of a noun can I use? Keeping it PG thirteen, of course. Yeah, I I I don't want to put something bad on there. Um how about a cookie jar. Cookie jar. Okay. Now, chat, friends, we need an adjective. We need an adjective in the chat, and we can pick one. And while the chat is working on an adjective, D, we need another adjective. Uh, jump. Jump? No, that's a verb. That's a verb. An adjective is uh, a Describes a noun. Right, describes something. Um, brown. Brown. Okay, and the first one randomly I see in the chat is Kara the Kitchy Corner has slimy. So we're going to oh. go with slimy. 
And you welcome. never know I had an, uh, an 88 average in English. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Sean Skunky Junk pop in. And I saw Karina Tarnished Treasures just popped in. And she's got a good one. Crazed. I like that. Okay, we need a noun, Vinny. Oh, boy. <laughs> Maybe I'll save the one I'm thinking of for later. How about a flower? Flower. <laughs> we do have a body parts doctor one coming up. Okay, so I'll save all the, the things that I want to say for that one. <laughs> I that figure one you might need to know that's coming up. <laughs> okay, D, we're back to, oh, are we back to, no, we're back to chat. So chat, we need a noun. We need a noun, and while the chat is working on a noun, D, we need another noun. Uh, a rock. <laughs> A rock. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> oh, my God. What Carrie. the heck? A nipple clip? Okay, we're going to go with that one. Oh, no. <laughs> Just Here, we're please. trying to behave. <laughs> I know, and then they're all being bad. Oh, Carrie's. Sally said a wiener. Names, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vape, dog, car. <laughs> a wiener. Okay, now we need the name of a girl. From who? Who's that, me? That's you, D. Yep. Um, Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Helga? Zelda. Zelda, okay. <laughs> and now we need a noun from... From Benny. All right. How about a swung vase? Swung vase. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you are being spicy, Carrie. All right. Now oh, we, we love need, it. We need a <laughs> noun chat, friends. <laughs> Jen <noun>. Perez. <laughs> and D, D, we need a noun. <laughs> uh, this is see. a nice show, Sherry, but not anymore. We're in vintage and vinyl <laughs> dark <laughs> um oh i see clown all right karina we got you for clown and you need a noun okay uh how about france france mm, the flesh okay now Vinny, we need a plural noun and chat friends we need a noun Plural oh. noun? Okay. There you go. Um, <laughs> balloons. <laughs> balloons. The first one I saw on my end was Kitchy Corner Arrow with <laughs> Maxi Pad. So we're going to go with that. <laughs> Who knows where this one's going to go, folks? Uh, we need an adjective, D. Uh, oh, okay. Chat um, friends, we need a number. Rusty. Rusty. Okay. And Vinny, we need another plural noun. Um, Welcome, Elba. How about dogs? Dogs. Okay. <laughs> I like Holly's answer. 69. <laughs> <laughs> this is going... Way off the rails. <laughs> Sherry, got you. I saw you first at 92. Okay, and we need a noun, D. Uh, oh, Sherry. <laughs> a tampon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tampon it is. Why not? We have a maxi pad. We got to have a tampon. You know, the two go together. You're right. All right. Here it is. Sideshow Barker, folks. This is what we've created. Oh, no. oh my God. Right. Hurry, 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 folks. Step into the sideshow tent and see Matthew, the world's most horrifying cookie jar. Medical science <laughs> is amazed at this slimy creature. He is completely covered with brown hair. But in spite of his ugly flower, he will become friendlier if you scratch his nipple clamp. Don't try to <laughs> him, however, or he'll bite your rock off. 
Inside of the tent, you will also see Zella, the famous tattooed squunk vase. She has oh a my God. Niagara Falls tattooed on her clown and the Eiffel Tower on her France. <laughs> she also eats to live balloons while standing on her maxi pads. She <laughs> was born of normal dogs who sent her to school until she was 92 years old. Today, <laughs> she is a tampon. <laughs> Step right up. The show is just starting. <laughs> Oh, God, I can't breathe. <laughs> and, of course, these will be package toppers. So if you buy anything from the vintage and vinyl, uh, five, these will be thrown in the packages. <laughs> I can't. I can't breathe. And I don't think it's all the rubbing alcohol I just had to use either. <laughs> and now she's a tampon. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my god. Oh, it does, Gary. It does. Hey Chassie. Oh I saw my friend joining in the chat. Hi <laughs> Chassie. I'm glad oh, you're here. Oh. <laughs> okay. So the next oh, my one gosh. Oh. that I've got up is Chinese dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, that was good. And this one was a good one. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Linda so, Holt. This used to be a nice show, LOL. Yes. <laughs> yes. This, this, this is, we have reached the after dark portion of our show. And then we will return to the nice show when I get to the Five City Hall in just a minute. So stick around for that. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Chi Chinese dinner. Here's our, here's our theme <sighs> for the next one. And D, we'll start with you. We need an adjective. Furry. Furry. Oh, no. Okay. Adjective, Vinny. And chat friends, we need a celebrity. Slimy. Slimy. All right. Terry. And D, we're back to you with an adjective. Yes, nice is overrated. There you oh, go. Oh, <laughs> no, Carrie. Can we put that in the Mad Lib? What did Carrie say? I'm she said Ron <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, Carrie. Okay. Who's Ron Jeremy? Oh. He's an adult film actor. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like the 80s. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, you, you see his uh, things sometimes come up at thrift stores like I have. One time oh, was very boy. awkward find. Um, <laughs> all right. So now we need a, let's see, we got the celebrity. We need an adjective. Me? He's vintage. There you go. Yeah. Well, he's near 70 now. <laughs> um, let's, let's do vintage. Uh, vintage. For the adjective, very good. Oh, Karina, no, don't don't Google. You, you probably don't need to Google that. Yeah, I probably would. Um, noun. We need a noun. <laughs> so, chat. Um, we, we need a noun. Just, just one but, noun. Um, how about puffer fish? Puffer fish. Okay. How did you come up with that? That was just so <laughs> random. Man. Okay, okay. D, I pulled that one out of my. <laughs> okay, we got a noun. All right, Christy. Christy Allen's got duck. <sighs> that's that's too funny. We have to go with that. Uh, okay, we need an adjective. D. Chat friends, we need another noun. Okinawa. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to spell that. Whoever gets this one, that's okay. probably not going to be spelled correctly. O k i n a w a. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. We need a adjective. Busty. 
Frosty. Okay. Another adjective. Is that me or the chat? That's you, D. Um. I see hairball. Okay, that's for the <laughs> noun. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> Good one, Karen. Runny. Runny. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Vinny, we need a food. Um, fish eggs. Fish eggs. Okay. D, we need an adjective. And chat, friends, we need a food. Why the is she getting all of the adjectives I here? Know. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, just the way it works out. Toasty. <laughs> toasty. Okay. All right, let's see. Food. Food Boom. from the chat, friends. Oh, from the chat. Okay, I'm going to pick one of these at random, and I see clams. Vintage gates. Good one, clams. Okay. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, the boy. Chinese dinner. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I recently had a dinner at a new Chinese restaurant. The cooking is furry and the service oh. is slimy. The owner of the restaurant, Ron Jeremy, suggested that oh. for my first course, I have a sweet vintage spare ribs, which is the specialty of the puffer fish. They oh. were busty. For the next Ooh. course, I was served a runny duck soup. <laughs> the main course yeah. consisted of egg foo Okinawa, lobster <laughs> and fish egg sauce, and Pressed with fried rice. For dessert, I ordered those famous Chinese. Karen, I wrote, <laughs> I wrote down Karen's name instead of what she put in the chat. <laughs> so, sorry, Karen, but for dessert, I ordered the famous Chinese Karen Gillett cookies with sliced oh. clams. Oh, Whatever God. I eat Chinese food, an hour later, I feel toasty again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> mm. yeah, here, down, I meant to write hairball down. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, what about no. brothers, Karen? There is a dude on this stream right now. Let's keep it clean, <laughs> sisters. No brothers. <laughs> Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, so we got two, we got three more, and this oh, next yeah. one's going to be funny. This one's a political speech. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> we got to make this one as bad as possible. <laughs> so, oh, all right. okay. Yeah, oh, Katie, that's me writing down the wrong thing in the wrong slot. <laughs> I'm, okay. I still can't get over the tampon thing. <laughs> that one was pretty good. <laughs> I, I love how you just like, hair. yeah, we got a maxi pad, so we need a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we need an adjective, D. Okay. Um, itchy. Itchy. Oh. Okay. Venny, we need an adjective. Stupid. Stupid. Okay, chat friends, we need a plural noun. Wait, can I can I uh can we go back to mine? Add stupid. <laughs> oh no, that's an adjective and a noun. Never mind. No, I don't think that will work, Benny. Dang it. Oh, oh Sean. Stunky. Take yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, Sean. <laughs> yes. Kudos. Oh, oh, Carrie. I'm going to give Carrie the next plural noun. Oh, boy. <laughs> because that's priceless. <laughs> okay. All right, Venny, we need an adjective. Um, has moist been put on there yet? Yep. Okay, so I'll say slimy again. Okay. 
Um, we need a noun, D. And chat, friends, we need a noun. Colin Powell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's perfect. All right, we need a noun. Me? Uh, yes. Donald Trump. Okay. Let's see. And chat friends. I'm just going to pick a random one. And I see tuna. Michelle, good one, tuna. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, we need a plural noun, D. Um, balls. <laughs> <laughs> An adjective, Benny. Um, come on, Vinny, it's right there. I know. No, no, no. <laughs> it goes. It goes with balls. <laughs> A wiener? <laughs> no, okay. It's an adjective. That's a, but oh. that, yeah, that's a noun. That won't work. Okay, stinky. You're itchy. Stinky. 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 <laughs> stinky. Okay. Name <laughs> of a person. Me? Yeah. U D. Oh, I like Jamie's better. Name Jamie's of is a way person. better than mine. <laughs> what did you say, D? Hillary. Clinton. Hillary. <laughs> oh, okay. why didn't I think of blue? Ah, all right. Jamie. I thought you were gonna say Harry. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, I like Jamie's for better. For the next adjective, I'll use you for the next adjective. Uh, okay, Vinny, we need an adjective. Um, green. Oh boy! <laughs> Don't give it away. <laughs> okay. And then we need we need a noun, D. Um oh my gosh, you guys in the chat. <laughs> I like Jade Doe's. Um we'll use noun. yours next, Jade. Garbage disposal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Which cavity carry? All right. <laughs> We're using this one. Shrivel? Okay. Yep. <laughs> we'll pick that one from the chat. Uh, we need another noun, Vinny. But. <laughs> okay. Plural noun, D. <laughs> Amanda Sinclair. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm sure that's what oh, you meant. Um, oh man, this is this is definitely just a vinyl after dark. Condoms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We need another adjective. Chat friends. Yes, we are. All right. We're, we're human. We're supposed to be. Let's see. Gosh, you guys, Carrie. <laughs> I asked which cavity she was talking about. She didn't say. <laughs> okay, I see sweaty Gina Marie. That's a good one. Oh boy. And we need one more adjective, D. Um Uh, green. Green? Okay. Green, yep. All righty. Are you ready for the political speech, folks? I don't Here know. Is. Can you handle it? This one. I don't know. This, this one is going to be good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on this itchy occasion, it is a privilege <laughs> to address such a stupid looking group of moist. <laughs> I can tell you from your smiling handcuffs that you will support my sliding <laughs> program in this upcoming election. 
I promise that if elected, there will be a Colin Powell in every tuna and two balls in every garage. I want to warn you against my stinky opponent, Mr. Hillary. This man is nothing but a bulging Donald Trump. He is a green character and is working, but in glove with criminal element. If elected, oh, man. I want to eliminate vice. I will keep the garbage disposals off of the city streets. And I will keep crooks from dipping their condoms in the public till. I promise you shriveled government, sweaty taxes, and green schools. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one. Oh my god. I can't do this anymore. (laughs) We've only done three of them. The vintage Mad Libs are the best. Oh my oh gosh. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Couple balls in my garage presently. <laughs> are they kickballs? Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Oh, Letter I don't written. know. They keep getting better and better. This one. <sighs> Letter received by the father of a marriageable daughter. Oh no! <laughs> we got to make this one way worse. Here. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll share some of these on Instagram. <laughs> Kathy, we are we are playing Mad Libs. We are playing vintage oh, Mad my Libs. My goodness, <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Debbie, you're just telling me the time because boy, this, are you in for a treat, We are vintage and vinyl after dark now. Has everyone hit the thumbs up and subscribed? Please make sure that you do. Yes, and I have linked D and Vinny down in the description box. So if you're not subscribed <laughs> to them, you're missing out. So go subscribe. Uh, yeah, these these are adult Mad Libs. Yes. Probably Gina, but we're having a little too much fun going off the rails. Oh, I, I've got a I've got a good vintage term that means something totally different back then than what it means now. So I think I'll use it. Okay, letter received by the father of a marriageable daughter. All right, we need a man in the room. <laughs> Albert. <laughs> A man in the room? You mean yeah, like it, it could just be a man. Oh, all right. Delbert. Delbert. <laughs> okay. Delbert. All right. We need an adjective, Vinny. Um sweaty. Sweaty. All right, chat friends, we need a girl, the name of a girl. And D, we need a noun. Oh, there's Nikki with the ice maker. A pimple. (laughs) Okay, pimple. Oh, there's Bode running around. All right, we got Hilda. I like Hilda. All right, Hilda's good. Good one, Randy. Randy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need a noun, Vinny. Oh, maybe I should save it for the other one. Um, how about a cat? Cat. Okay, and what about a noun, D? Um... Booed. I meant booed. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, Angela. A bottle. A bottle. Okay. Now we we need a plural noun. From who? Me. Yep. From you, Vinny. Wieners. <laughs> <laughs> Only with Vinny. Only with Vinny. <laughs> 
All right, we need a noun chat, friends. No, I'm just having Diet Coke. She's hyped up on caffeine, not intoxicated. Yeah, there, there we go. Hi, Kara. <laughs> Hi, Anjo. <laughs> Hi, Lemmy. All right, I'm picking Lemmy Lemon. Yay, I, I was going to say <laughs> that one. Meat. <laughs> Meat. That's a pretty perfect one. Hi, <clears throat> nice to meet you, vintage and vinyl. Okay, thank you, Siri. <laughs> Siri just... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Siri, give us a noun. Okay. I found this on the web for Give Us a Now. Check it out. Okay, no, that's not helpful. Hey, Siri. That's Give us a helpful. naughty noun. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on with that. So we do need a noun chat, friends. <laughs> Vinny, we need an adjective. Long. <laughs> oh, boy. And we need a number, D. 69. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Siri's trying to play. Yes, she is. <laughs> She's okay. not doing very well. I see underpants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This is, this is going to be uh, very interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now, D, we need a geographical location. London. London. Okay. And Venny, we need an adjective. Um, big. All right. And I see my friend Chastity. She's in the chat and she's <laughs> she's got this adjective hard. She won't go, what <laughs> the hell? Just make this after dark. Why not? All right. We need a noun. D. Um, <clears throat> Sean's Skunky Junk. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> um, bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Oh no. And then we need the name of a man, Benny. Um, hmm. David. David. All right. Are you ready to hear about this oh, letter? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Letter received by the father of a marriageable daughter. Oh, Dear no. Delbert, I'm in love with your sweaty daughter, Hilda, <laughs> and I would like to ask her for a pimple in marriage. She is my <laughs> idea of the perfect cat. She is the only bottle I have ever loved, and I want her to be the mother of my wiener. <laughs> At present, I am employed as an assistant meat, and I make a long salary of $69 a week. I have a split level, split level underpants picked out <laughs> my husband that we can live in. If you give your permission, I promise to make her big. And <laughs> <my first doctor. laughs> Sign David. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was so funny. Uh, <laughs> hey, Vinny, breathe. <laughs> you have a good oh there, Vinny. That was Vinny. so good. Oh, that, my that gosh. One was very good. <laughs> Sorry, Delbert. <laughs> no, Gene. I don't oh. think David's getting hitched at all. I think he's going after the pastor. He's getting the boots. <laughs> No, oh my gosh. No father would want David. I promise to make her big. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, I uh, 
<laughs> I'm Ooh. glad, Lucinda. Ooh. Oh, man. Hi, Poodle. You got I that know. right, Sean. Poodle, this is really confirming so for me here. that deep down, we're, uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't matured Poodle. past the age of twelve. <laughs> yes, I think Poodle we all know our vintage and vinyl yourself. after dark. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, this whole time I've had this banner scrolling <coughs> about on the bottom. It is not breaking news anymore, and it is not time for the Fat Bird Five. So we can we can take that banner away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here's the one Vinny's all been waiting for. Oh, oh no. Medical questions and answers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this one was specifically picked with you in mind, Vinny. Of course it was. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, Poodle. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Poodle. All right, we need a person in the room. Oh. I think that's for you, D. I know. I'm trying to. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Carrie. Carrie. All right. Oh. All right. Carrie. We need another person in the room. Dr. Zivago. Doctor. Is it Zivago or Zivago? Zivago. Zivago. I think. Maybe I. I heard... room? Yeah, Zivago. I thought it was Ziva. Maybe I heard it mispronounced. That's probably why I thought that. I don't know. You know, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Same difference. Okay, we need an adjective. So, chat friends, work on an adjective. And do you need a noun? Let's see. A noun? A noun. Okay. Stethoscope. Stethoscope. And chat friend. <laughs> Bulbous. <laughs> I see kinky, sticky, huge, and bulbous. <laughs> All very good choices. Go with so, bulbous. Bulbous it is. Vinny, Vinny has picked that one. Jimmy. <laughs> oh boy. We have crusty, tight, grungy, oh. really sticky again. <laughs> All very good choices. <laughs> All right, we need a noun. Is that me? That's you. Uh breasts. Breasts. <laughs> Okay, we need another noun. Oh, Gina, I like this one. So we're going to do... Oh, yes, the infamous lady gown. Okay. And, Vinny, we need a noun. Oh, God, should I really... Am I going to be allowed to say this? What are you going to say, Vinny? I'm afraid to say it. Well, type it into the chat. And then I'll, I'll can I spell it because I don't want anyone like getting mad at me. Spell it. B O N E R. Oh, that that one might be a little after dark. It's a noun, though. It's a it thing. It's a noun. Oh, do you want to use the medically correct term instead? Sure. Okay. I'll Put correct in now. there. <laughs> okay. Adjective. We need an adjective. Uh, D. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I should have just said that, Delbert. <laughs> Famunda cheese. Oh my god! Oh my god! Famunda cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, chat friends, we need it. Oh no! <laughs> well, this is a good adjective if we're going just. To uh, yeah, for sure. So, we, we were, and that was the first one. Honestly, I saw in the chat. Oh my gosh! All right, we need an adjective. 
Is that for me? Yes. Or is that for D? That's for you, Benny. Um, hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh no. The, the we need a noun, D. And chat, we need a liquid. <sighs> Did Katie freeze? Sister. Uh oh, Katie froze. She froze. <laughs> Girl, you frozen. <laughs> oh, Brenda said she had to leave the room so her grandson wouldn't hear this. Sorry, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. Uh oh, could didn't doesn't it look like the lights went out? It pans uh, and yeah, the light went out. I wonder if they lost power. <laughs> they probably did. I hope she didn't blow a fuse. <laughs> she'll be oh, back. She, yeah, she'll be back. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh my goodness. That, oh, these are funny. This is that guy. That's like those two guys do on YouTube. What they what they, do, they drink water and then they they do the words and then as the one guy's reading it, the other one has to drink water and can't spit it out like laughing. I forgot. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. I've seen that. My daughter watches them sometimes. I forgot. Yeah, you know Angela. What what's their um? I forgot the. Joe Sant that Santagato, that's it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> What's the, there's another channel that does stuff like that. I think it's Good Mythical Morning. They do things like that. I forget the names though. Pam's out there with a headlamp flipping off the breaker box. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, we are He's back. Not. Thanks for entertaining the chat. You know, Laura here can't work technology and might have also unplugged the Wi-Fi again. <laughs> oh, boy. But we are back and running, which is wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, we it looked like the power went out. Like the yes, lights. The power, the power flickered for a second. It was very weird. <laughs> okay. But we are oh, back boy. now. Dee and Venny have been keeping you guys company, so thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So where so were we again? <laughs> we are at, we needed, did we get a liquid? No, chat friends. We needed, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> and thank you, Chassie, for keeping people all up <laughs> i did i messed up the whole power grid <laughs> okay chat friends we need a liquid Venny, we need a noun and d we need a plural noun for noun but in booty <laughs> okay we get that okay and i saw where was it i saw moonshine nancy oh. smith that's a good one. Down in that moonshine, baby. Buttocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for, well, is it, yeah, that's plural noun. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then a number. We need a number, Benny. Can we do 69 again? Sure. I mean, 13. it is a metal office. All right, we need a noun, D. Chat, friends, we need a plural noun. And we need Venny an adjective. Um, Spock. Spock, okay. Sticky. Sticky for the adjective, I like it. <laughs> and chat, friends... Teens. Oh my gosh, Angela! Teens. What? Angela, uh oh, teens. what did you see, Carrie? My, oh Carrie? my god! My we mustache rides, <laughs> birds, toes, brains. Oh one. my god! 
Cheat. I'm still crying from the last one. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Let's see. How about furs? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go with furs. Oh, boy. All right, Patricia. Good one. Everybody's got great answers in the chat here. Okay. Here we go. Are we ready for the medical questions and answers? No, but okay. <laughs> Take a breath. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Dumber right. says if I pee my pants, I'm blaming y'all. <clears throat> the patient to be played by Carrie. The doctor to be played by Dr. Zhivago. <laughs> patient. Doctor, whenever I sit down, I get a bulbous pain in my stethoscope. <laughs> Is this serious? Doctor, sounds as if you have an inflammation of your breasts. You need an anti-lady gown shot. Patient. Doctor, I'm thinking of having my erection removed. <laughs> Is this a Famunda cheese operation? Doctor, no. The operation is quite creamy and provided you have hard kidney. <laughs> Patient, what are the symptoms of an overactive booty? <laughs> High moonshine, <laughs> the buttocks and the abdomen. Patient, doctor, is it possible for a 69 year old woman to have a healthy spot? <laughs> yes, as long as her furs aren't overly sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh dear lord <laughs> that was very funny see the vintage man lives are better oh. you gotta get the vintage ones oh my i'm gonna gosh. have my erection cut off yeah. <laughs> but but then he's asking about you know Overactive booty, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Overactive <laughs> booties. So these oh. will be package toppers, part of the oh. uh, uh, vintage. You need to post these line. to Instagram before you do anything. Yes. Oh my I will oh. share these all to Instagram. So you guys oh can go my back. gosh. To the Thank yeah, you, sticky furs. That was hilarious. <laughs> Lamar, I am actually leaving Alabama tomorrow, but I've been here a full week. I've been, uh, yeah, oh. my mom's probably. Oh, watching. I really hope your mom's not watching. <laughs> she probably is. Oh, well, you know, we, we did say that we are entering the vintage and vinyl after dark portion. <laughs> we, oh are, we are now leaving. It wasn't the here. Remember the one? <laughs> was, I don't remember if I was on or somebody was on. I think it was me. Jamie and somebody else or maybe I was just watching and she somebody said like the phrase was is it a boy or a beaver yes that was on fat bird finds the night the other night we did mad libs <laughs> oh my god that ja I thought Jamie was gonna wet herself that was so funny oh my that gosh was really really good <laughs> oh, Whew, my oh. stomach hurts <laughs> I know right <laughs> these, these are so fun. They are. They're hilarious. How long I can't wait to watch the replay of this. <laughs> I have so much content coming out with Pam. It's going to be fun, but we've gone to Oz Records, which is a wonderful local record store. We've gone to a bunch <laughs> of cool vintage stores in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and North Port, which are basically one and the same. They're just connected by a bridge. We've been to Birmingham. Ooh, we spent the night in a haunted hotel. Yes, a haunted Ooh. hotel. So we stayed in the Redmont Hotel. Now, I did not know it was haunted. It was just one of those curio collection hotels by Hilton. So I knew it would be kind of a treat because those hotels are just like the Union Station. They take old buildings and they refurbish them into hotels. So they're really cool. And so I picked that one. And when we got to the hotel the bellhop person that was taking our luggage in says oh this place is haunted don't you know so i started googling and of course there's a million articles on the, the redmont hotel but what's really cool is that 
the night before Hank Williams died, he stayed on our floor in the room across from ours. And so when you get off onto our floor, they have Hank Williams records. They have uh, old, uh, an old shoe shine kit that they've turned into a lamp with little oh, tin. Wow. It was so cool. The typewriter downstairs by their office area was an old typewriter. They turned into a lamp. Every floor had a different lamp. So they say that supposedly people can see Hank Williams floating around the hall. Now, I don't know that that's true, but Pam and I did hear some weird shuffling down the hall in the middle of the night. And we did hear people banging on doors and no one answering. So I don't know if that says anything, but we did hear some weird stuff in the hall. And then did you read <clears throat> Sean's comment? No, what's Sean's comment? Oh my God. <laughs> no, I have not used my hairbrush today. It's further, it's hair. further up. For a hairbrush. My my hair is really short. <laughs> I got a hat hair though. Let's see. Oh Pam, gosh, that... Pam is rewiring the house. Pam is out trying to get the sticky out of her furs. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, my mom used to say she'd play hide and seek in her grandma's house and she would get in the closet and she's terrified of furs because I guess my great grandmother had a mink, a mink fur and the mink head would stare at her while she was playing hide and seek and she never liked that she thought it was so creepy <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, that is pretty creepy i mean they are ugly looking you they know. are especially when you're a little kid <laughs> yeah <laughs> just getting out the sage <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that, that hotel needs probably a lot more than sage but it's gorgeous and it's so much fun to stay in so I, I watched Scott's video, Venny, and if you don't know, Venny went up to visit Scott. And uh, I hear that you and, and Venny are getting to go see Scott sometime soon. We yeah. are. We We're are. Uh, we, we go the 25th and uh, come back on the 31st. So I'm excited. I need a vacation. <laughs> yes, you do. Who's going to take care of Binks while you're gone? Uh, my son. Oh, that will be nice. Yes. I know he's going to freak out because, you know, he's, the last time I went away, when I came back, he had an attitude. <laughs> so, you did? Yeah. Was that from the last sure. time we met up? Or from yeah. the first time we met? Yeah. And he was mad that mom was gone. Yeah, he, he was. You. Yep, he was. I took, he I took care of my brother's cat. He he goes out of town from time to time, and I'll take care of his cat. His his cat's name is Clyde, and Clyde is not a cat. He's literally a human, just in a cat's body. I mean, it's wild. <laughs> and I spoil that cat rotten. Oh, my gosh, that cat gets treats. It gets tuna tubes. It gets everything I can give it because I <laughs> love that cat so much. And Carson, I came back, and Carson said, now, look, we're going to have to have a talk here. That cat won't quit meowing. <laughs> He's like, you cannot give him multiple treats a day. <laughs> That's yep. funny. That's uh. like having a grandkid. You spoil it rotten and then send it home with its mom. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> All hyped up on sugar and yeah, food. okay, yep, go home exactly. now. <laughs> right, yes, Clyde is cool. So I have a five city hall. Now you guys can stick around if you want, or D, if you're ready to go to bed, you do not have to stay on at all. But I'd love for you to tell people when your sales are because D has some pretty fabulous sales. Um, well, I have um, my regular live sale tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern on my channel. Monday, I am joining um, Vintage and Vinyl. Not Vintage and Vinyl. Vintage and Vino. <laughs> <laughs> on their channel. Um, that will be so much fun. Yes. And I think that one is at, oh, dang. Is it 7 o'clock Eastern? Um, and then Wednesday, I was invited to do a live sale with Misty. Yay. At oh, cool. one, one o'clock Eastern on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, oh my God, um, I'm having a sale with um, 
Beth, Carolina Princess, Sweet oh, Treats and Pretties on her channel. And I forgot the time of that one. I'm sorry. But it's on her channel Thursday. Um, it's in You're the evening. I know. I'm like... <laughs> Now you know why I need a vacation. <laughs> yes, I know because that that shipping and packing is hard work after a sale. It, it is. It really is, especially when you're doing it all yourself. So yes, yeah. Dia, it's amazing that you can do all of that. You know, it it takes me <laughs> a good couple of days just to get a small sale out. Yeah, I I <clears throat> I try to get all my packing done in one day. I do. It takes me about nine hours or so, but because I sell wow. about 50, 55 items on a Saturday usually. So, yeah. Wow. So that's amazing. That's an all day thing on Sunday. <laughs> Kelly, yes. It is very cool to be hosting Flippin' and Sippin' with D and Vinny in Pam's Kitchen. I agree. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> and Hi, Kelly. Miss Pam. Kelly has cooked up some yummy treats. Let me show you guys. I saw. It, she posted it on Instagram. It looks delicious. She did. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, thanks, Nancy. <laughs> so Kelly has cooked up this yummy dinner for us, and it will be oh. coming here after the show. I'm excited. I'm excited because I think those are rattlesnake beans. I've never had those. Have you had those, Vinny? No. That's a nope. very southern thing. And look, it's in the cast iron. Ooh, Rattlesnake beans. I've never heard of them. It, it's a very southern thing. I've never had it, but I'm excited. Florida's not too... I mean, it's southern, but it's not southern southern. It's not yeah. traditional. Tomato gravy. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Delbert. <laughs> I just packed and shipped three of my first items for my first sale and had the nervous breakdown. It, it's so much fun to do sales. The selling part's fun, but the shipping's hard. Although I kind of enjoy shipping. You know, I, I put on my vinyl, I ship, I have so much fun. Uh, I could do without it. <laughs> the fun part after the sale is seeing all the green come in. Yes, yeah, that that is nice. That is very nice. Once the packing's done, then I'm like, oh, now I can. Now here's it. here's the real question: Do you pack it and then do you do invoices the next day? Because that's what I do. Um, if I get done at a reasonable hour, I'll do my invoices that same day. If oh wow! I, okay. If I if it's a long, long day, like if I don't get done till like eight or eight thirty, then I'll do them in the morning. Yeah, I yeah. usually, if I have a sale on Thursday or Wednesday, and I usually pack and ship over the weekend, and I do my shipping, my packing on Saturday, and usually Sunday, uh, while I'm watching sales, I'll invoice. So I try to split it up. Um, but if it's a small brooch sale, I can usually get that all just not right. right. <clears throat> brooches are great. You don't have to pack a lot of heavy glass. They're wonderful. They're easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I have 30 items I've priced tonight, but then I have the Mother's Day drop sale Sunday. So that's an additional 20 items. So I'll have 50 things possibly well, going you, out the door. You can do so, it, Benny. I mean, I've done it before, but it, it, it can be a lot, especially because I pack everything by myself like D does. Mm -hmm. And LaDonna, she's explaining rattlesnake bean. She said, so it's not a green bean. It's a pale bean, but you push the seeds out. Okay. Kind of, that reminds me of something, but that's a what would Vinny say thing. So I'm going <laughs> to about the seeds. Okay. So I've got a five city hall keeping with the five theme tonight. And uh, I have picked these up all across my travels. So you guys get to see these for the first time. I don't think I've shown these yet. I know, Dee, you're probably going to like a couple of these items. And I know, Vinny, you will too. So I have been to five different cities. Now, the only city that I did not pick anything up in on my trip was Atlanta because I was just driving through. 
I did pick up something, but I ate it. <laughs> so it's, it's <laughs> now. Uh, but I did go to the varsity in Atlanta, and I didn't get anything from the varsity other than pictures. So I can't really include Atlanta, but I did go through Paducah, Kentucky. I went through Nashville, Tennessee. I did stop also in Chattanooga, but I didn't buy anything there. Uh, and then I've been to St. Louis and now to uh, Alabama. So I've got uh, uh, many states and several cities. So uh, let me start with the Nashville trip. And I will show you one of the items I bought uh, in Nashville. Now, I did go, the whole purpose of my stopping in Nashville was to go to antique archaeology. Now, that's related to the show American Pickers, if you guys know that show. Oh, and they yeah. have a store. Now, the store, to be honest, is very touristy. It's just sort of fun to say that you've been, but they don't have a lot of their really cool stuff in the store, to be honest. That was my experience. What's really cool, though, is next door because it's all part of one big building. And that building, there is a museum for the Marathon Car uh, Factory that used to be there in like 1914, I think. And they have a wonderfully curated museum with little stores and shops, all kinds of cool advertising and all the industrial machines they save and put in there. I spent about four hours in that museum and about wow. 10 minutes in antique archaeology. So it's cool to go in their store, but it's, it's kind of a little touristy. Um, but I had to buy something from there because it's just kind of cool to say that you've been. And the only thing that I could really afford there was a record. And this is Pearl Ooh. Bailey. Oh. It is a long play extended record. So this is technically plays at 33 and a third. And it basically just has a few uh, extra songs. So it's, it looks like a 45, but it's not a 45. And it's just extended. So it has a few more songs. 45s usually have one song per side, which is about right. like two minutes. This has like two songs <clears throat> per side. So this is kind of cool. I love the cra the graphics on it. It was $10, which probably is a little bit more than this record would be normally, but it's coming from Antique Archaeology, and I just thought it was cool. I didn't have it. I loved I love Pearl, ba Pearl Bailey and the graphics, so I went ahead and, and picked it up. <laughs> so this is a fun little a fun little find and it's in very nice condition so there's the columbia label so that that was one item that i picked up on my trip and then i picked this up uh in let's see i got this in in tuscaloosa oh, alabama and jamie had one of these and funny story was i had asked jamie mid-century wasted if she would sell this because she had showed a bunch of brooches and she said, Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm keeping it. And I just, I looked and looked for another one and couldn't find it. And then lo and behold, go into this antique store of Pam and here it is. So this is the Seattle space needle. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, that's and it's a brooch. Look at it at the baguettes. And that's the awesome. So this was really, really cool. So I, these are things, guys, that I'm going to be hanging on to. They're not for sale. They're just things I picked up. Um, it was $20. So you can't beat that. And I believe the guy gave us a discount. Oh, so awesome. So that was a fun pickup. And then in uh, Paducah, Kentucky, I went to the shed. Now, the shed, if you've never been, you got to go. It's amazing. There's a guy's booth in the shed called Jeff's junk. And let me show you a picture of Jeff's junk because it's not junk and is lovely advertising filled to the brim. This is his whole booth. Oh my oh, God. It is, wow. I mean, it is chock a block full. And if you go in there behind the ladder, like you can't really move and you're afraid the whole ladder shelf is going to topple over, but there's like <laughs> a lot of good stuff in there. This is just cans on one side of the wall. So his, his booth was a place that I spent a good 30 minutes like digging through stuff because you never know what was going to be under. Right. I bought a lot from Jeff, but the bigger things I'll show in a haul later. I bought some industrial like uh, hardware cabinets, but this is really cool. This is a holy grail item for me. Now it's a little rusty, but I like my rusty, so I don't mind the condition. It was $15, which is a steal. And it is all American motor oil. 
It is a two-gallon motor oil can. And check out the graphics on that. I just thought that was very cool. Now, yes, it's rusty and dented. And a lot of people, this isn't your jam, but this is totally me. <laughs> so I was excited to get this. This 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 can right here, Carrie and I were watching a Petroliana auction online. Now, that's not obviously in mint condition, but the auction we were watching had all these mint oil cans. And guys, you would be surprised how expensive some of these old oil cans are. The ones that we were watching were going upwards of eight grand. One went for 10,000 oh. for one can. Holy it was crazy. Holy. And this can went for $800 in good condition. Whoa. So very excited to find this. Now it's, wow. it's not in the best you condition. Got a deal but, big time. Yeah. And for $15, I mean, come on. It's amazing. Now, D, I think you'll like this. Vinny, you will too. This. Oh, no, um, you didn't. I did. This came from Birmingham. Uh, oh, what year is that? Yeah, yeah Birmingham. So it this. Comes from Hannah Antique. Yeah, Hannah Antique Mall. That's the one George likes to stop at. Okay, George likes to go to this particular mall. This one, I think, was dated 1963. Oh, wow. Yeah, 1960. There it is on the back. So it's a Sears catalog. Now, this no, will be staying with me for a while, but then eventually I might sell it. But I just, it was $20. That's a steal. Catalog. And look at some of the graphics on the inside. Let me get to the back where like the refrigerators are because they're pretty amazing. Okay, look at this. This is bath fixtures. This is a heavy catalog. It's oh, wow. Such fun <laughs> colors. I know. My <laughs> grandmother, her upstairs bathroom was that blue, and the downstairs was pink. So I thought that was really fresh cool. out of the 50s, too. So you didn't see, like, all those, like, hippie colors until, like, the mid to late 60s. So that's, that's still got 50s flair written all over it. Yeah, it does. I mean, look at the washer and dryers. I mean, isn't that amazing? Let's see. Our, our first there. house that we bought uh, when, uh, was built in 1910. Really? Uh, and it had the pink top, the pink plastic tile with the black, you know, the black uh, trim going oh, on the top. Man. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> yes, this one is a fat one, Jamie. It is a big <laughs> book. This so I, if you were to get this washer pair, it would be two hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Think of how much that was back then, though. That was a lot of money. That was expensive. Mm -hmm. And Jamie uh, and Blake, here you go, Blake. This is for you. Here's the stereo gear. Oh, I can't see where I'm holding that up very well because this book is so big. But look at this. I mean, amazing. So this, if you wanted this. Record player here. Three speaker fiberglass case. It was $109.95. And if you want the Silver Tone series, it's $62.95. But look Jamie, at the world hey. Starbursts. Jamie, I highlighted your comment again. This book is so large. But oh, anyway. A, is that a tape recorder or is that a stovetop? I think, yeah, hi-fi tape recorder. Okay, that's what I thought. That's really cool. Yeah. And, um, oh, look at the canister sets. Look at these. They've got all the canister sets in here. Oh, look at the oh, blue. Oh, the blue. I know. I know. Isn't Those that are, amazing? Those are uh, hula today. The, the turquoise. Just, yeah, paint. back then. Mm -hmm. Well, you had to buy them separately. So the bread box was three dollars and seventy-seven cents. But it, it was how much? Three dollars. Yeah, you can't find it for that price now. This four-piece canister set is two dollars and seventy-seven cents. Oh, we we got personal needs. Oh, we have the <laughs> Ann we Barton Sanitary Shield. No joke. That's the page I just flipped to. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> that needs to be the next Mad Lib word. Oh, now is dear. this spring and summer or is this fall and winter? This is spring and summer. Okay. There it is. And you can apparently buy precision made medical equipment in this book stethoscopes, uh, oxygen units. I mean, what didn't this catalog have? I know, oh, God. That. Just amazing. And there's there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, this is the ad I wanted you to see. Okay, this is for Kenmore. Look at the starburst on this. Oh. I like I the mean, girl, the fairy. Yeah, isn't, she, isn't that amazing? I mean, there's sleeping bags. This is just, we'll have to go through this more in depth. I don't know if there's jello in this. <laughs> there's Didn't the ears, like, literally just have, like, all their own name branded appliances? Like, it wasn't, like, some yeah, of the name brands we did. see today. Like, it was all Sears and Roebuck company appliances. Yeah, and they sold, like, you could buy Kenmore. Oh, look wasn't at Kenmore like a Sears appliance. brand or something? Sears did have their own brand, yes. See, look, she's on the phone. Look at that color of that of those walls. I love that. Oh, I know, just fabulous. Wheelchairs, evidently. Jamie did a series with that, didn't she? Sunday at Sears. Yeah, Jamie had a wonderful series. So this is the the book here. Yeah, a sanitary belt. You could get all kinds of things back in the day. Uh, Colleen, the catalog is 1960. It's spring and summer. And look, guys, I mean, head reference here, that's, that's <laughs> pretty chunky. So I was excited. And this is in very good condition for its age. Like, it's not falling apart. The spine's tight. There's a little bit of creasing, but for $20, I just, I could That's the deal. That no. That was I'm watching one online right now that's from, I think, 19... Oh, something. I can't remember, but it was like a book book. Oh, really? I want one of them so bad just because I can, you know, it's early 1900s. How much are they? Uh, They're asking 125 I might, if I'm... Because they're so hard to get. Those old, old catalogs from the turn of the century, you don't see those very often. No. No, you don't. And there's reproduction ones. but Yeah, in the 60s, they reissued, like 1969, 1970, they reissued the ones from the early 1900s, and they reissued ones from the early 20s, too, at that time. I yeah, yeah, I had one from 1970 that I got at an estate sale that I sold. Was it the reproduction one, or like one that was legit from 1970? Yeah. I think stuff. it was a reproduction one that they did in 1970 or something like that. Hey, I it's can't still remember. got cool graphics, though. Oh, yeah. You know, absolutely. If you were going to junk journal, like the 70s ones would be perfect for that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think the yeah. oldest one that I have from Sears is from, I think, 1923. But it's not complete. It's like there's pages torn out of it, but it's still so cool to look through. Yeah, you could, Patricia. I mean, literally, anything you wanted, Sears catalog had it. I wish we still had Sears. I miss Sears. Yeah, I know. Now and the then last... the ones oh, go ahead, you, Benny. The ones that you really want to be on the lookout for are the Christmas ones from yes. like Montgomery Ward and Sears. Those are some moolah if you can find them. Yeah, because a lot of people, I mean, after it was over, that time period in which the catalog came out, I'm sure they didn't hang on to them. You know, they got thrown yeah, they away. Threw out. So I have one from Sears, Christmas of like 1942, I think it was, 1942 or 1943. And then I have one from Montgomery Wards from 1963, Christmas catalogs, and they are so cool. Yes, yeah, Sears was the original Amazon. <laughs> you got that right. Yep. So but you couldn't get food in Sears, though, could you? I don't think so. I don't think they had a candy counter. Mm -mm. No, I don't think they had a lunch counter either. No. No. Now, this item is really cool. 
This I picked up in a booth with Angela. We were shopping at an antique mall in St. Louis. Actually, it was one my Aunt Mariana recommended. She lives down the street from this place. Angela, if you're still here, I don't remember if it was the treasure aisle or the other one. I think it was treasure aisle. But we were walking, and of course, none of these antique malls have air conditioning. I don't know what it is, but the ones in Alabama don't, and the ones in St. Louis don't. So it was really hot. And I was getting ready to say, you know what? I got to go outside and cool off. Like, I'm sweating. I'm just going to get my stuff and go. And then I saw this, and, you know, I was kind of revitalized for a minute. This was only $5. Oh, um, my gosh. That's cool. This, this is a vintage Las Vegas clock with the dice. And I know people have been looking for these. So this eventually will be up for sale uh, at some future sale. I'm not sure when. i got to make sure it's working. But I think it is because the cavity back here for the battery looks very good. Um, and this turns everything on. It works. The only issue it has is a tiny little scratch. But I think that could be removed. So I just think that's cool. And it's like a plastic heat bottom but the dice are so amazing i just love this so i wish night amy i wish this had a way to hang it on the wall because if it didn't have this base i probably would be keeping this and hanging it on my wall but since it doesn't have a way to hang it will definitely be up for sale at some point but this is just a fabulous little clock so i thought that was fun Oh, you have seen one of those. Let's see, from an online auction. Yeah, there were several people looking for these. I've seen in the chats talk about them. So I was ecstatic to find that for $5. And then I do, I have a bonus city item. So I've got one more bonus item. Angela found this, and this was actually her little gift to me, which I thought was so sweet. I don't know if you've ever seen these little hat boxes. I collect them. But this one's not any old hat box. This is actually Loyal brand coaster hats. So what they are is you've got the hat box. And then look at these. They're little hat coasters. Have you ever seen such a thing? <laughs> they have oh, those are cool. those. <laughs> and each band is different. Look at that. I mean, just amazing. This one has little polka dots on it. And they're all like straw hats. This one, oh, I like the stripes. And they're all in perfect condition. And look at this, cherries on this one. So Channeled this is your inner Patrick. Fabulous. <laughs> yes, inner Patrick, and you got to have the coasters. You got to save your vintage furniture, guys. I'm a big yeah. coaster nut. So these are fabulous, and it will go with my hat collection. So that's my my bonus item from my five city haul. Those I've got lots more. Oh my gosh, the car is going to be so loaded. It is crazy. I bought more records yesterday. I don't need more records. I probably have. Blake showed his his box of records in his car haul, or one of the videos that Jamie and Blake posted on their trip, which if you haven't seen those, they're amazing, so go watch them, Mid-Century Wasted. But she showed the box of records that Blake got, and it made me feel better about the records I got, because I thought, oh my gosh, I don't need more records, but I kept finding ones that I'm just never going to see again. You know, that's kind of my... Thing with the records is of course I buy them to listen to them so if I'm not going to listen to them I'm not going to get it but if it's something that you know with 50s records in particular you're not going to see again because they're just that rare or hard to find you got to get them when you see them so this one place we went to the record exchange had crates full piled high of records and I just I, I found all these 50s records I couldn't live without <laughs> And you're on vacation to splurge a little bit. Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah, I bought a record store's worth of records on this trip. My car is going to be so loaded, but um, I'm going to get all that packed up. Kelly, Michelle has actually brought totes over to help me, which is so nice because everything's in bags right now. So I'll get them all packed up and loaded. And I got some audio gear from Jamie and Blake, which is going to take up a good portion of my back seat. So... I'm going to be kind of packed in like a sardine. 
But you know what's going to be fun, though? You're going to unpack it all, and then you're going to forget what you bought, and it'll be a surprise all over again. Yes, I love that, Benny. I love that. I do it all the time, and I'm like, oh, sh I bought that? Cool. It was only this much? Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part is going through all your treasures when you get home. And so you're on a, you're in the zone. You're like, oh, I like this, 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 and this. And then you, you know, bag it up and then you go to another store, find a bunch of other cool stuff, throw it in the back of the car. And then when you get home, you're like, geez, I really did find a lot of stuff. Well, and you know, the, the people at the hotel in St. Louis, I kept thinking the guy must think I'm absolutely nuts because I kept going places, buying things for sale, some stuff for me. And then at night, I'm kind of weird. I don't like to leave like stuff that I'm really excited about in my car. Like I'm sure everybody's fine at the hotel, but it was in a different lot, you know, next to the hotel that's kind of accessible from everyone in the whole city. And I thought, well, I don't want to leave these things in there. I'm sure they're fine, but I'm just weird that way. So I said, well, I'll just have them take stuff in. In the hotel, they have a bellhop person that's in charge of that. And that's his whole job. So every time I'd come back and drop off the car, I would have them unload stuff. And the guy kept bringing stuff up to my room. And I thought he must think that I'm like weird. But they had a photography convention in the week that I was staying at the hotel. And all the photographers had to bring all their gear and all these like dresses and costumes because they were doing sh photo shoots for this Shutterfest thing. So people had way more stuff than I did. And so I felt a little bit better when I had to load up the car again <laughs> with all the stuff that, you know, they were used to loading all these people in from the convention that had angel wings that were like, you know, eight feet tall and all kinds. Of, there was even a lemur, a lemur in the lobby. So someone had to haul that in. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh here goes God. the crazy vinyl lady again. Yep. <laughs> Buy more vinyl. Well, you know, the, the guy that unloaded the stereo gear, he brought it up to my room and he goes, oh, this is nice. Mint 1970s. I said, it sure is. He knew all about it. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. At least he didn't think it was just a piece of... <laughs> yes. But you guys are going to have so much fun on your trip. I'm excited that you get to meet Scott. Yeah. Well, we met him last year. Well, Vinny sees him all the time. I don't. I just I just saw him last weekend. I, can't I it know. Was a week ago already. <laughs> I know. Our, uh, our live, everyone loved that live. I thought it was fun. Yeah. I missed it because I was on vacation and I heard about it and I was so mad that I wasn't there to see it. So I'm slowly re-watching all the content I've missed. Well, did you see he went live all on his own? Yes, I saw that. So now I got to watch this other live. Vinny, <laughs> did you see him? I didn't. Oh, yeah. I I, I got the notification. Old Curiosity Shop oh, is wait. live. Are I you talking what? about... When he was showing the the glass and such with and the like yeah. the Delphi egg plate and such, yes, I was there. That that I don't know if he set that up or that like minute comment thing was driving me crazy because I couldn't respond to people. Yes, well, oh. he had the slow comments turned on. Yeah, he did. So that he could. Like, ah. you know, when you have a lot of people in a live, I kind of think that's helpful because as if, if you're not used to Streamyard and you're a viewer. It's hard to understand, but the comments on some of the channels that have yeah, several yeah. hundred people watching, it's like whoosh, and you can't you can't see very right. well, you know. So when you slow it down, it's easier to respond to everybody, which is great. <laughs> I think because I'm just used to live sell speeds, that's why. And Jamie, and I'm a very fast paced person anyway, so that's why it's like when it's slow like that, it's like oh. Yeah, I was noticing when I was filming stuff that. You know, I, I, especially in the art gallery, and this is me probably being nitpicky, but I was filming it and I was like, man, I should have given people longer to look at the piece of art. But because of how I am, I just, I'm moving around. I'm excited about it. And I probably made all of you dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you did a good job with that, though. Thank you. Jamie does go live Wednesday nights at 8, and it is hilarious, so make sure you tune into that. Uh, <laughs> oh, 
and it makes you motion shake. Uh, motion, mo yeah. <laughs> she was about to say. <laughs> That's why we need Vinny's button. It is now <laughs> vintage and vinyl after dark again. Motion sick to watch the comments scroll that quickly. Yes. Bye, Karen. Thank you for joining us. on you. Yes, the chat always jumps, and then I can't find what I want to show, which is probably why I wrote down uh, Karen's name instead of her actual comment that she put in for the map. The Chinese Karen. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh my gosh, guys, this has been so much fun. Uh, Laura, the bonus elephant, thank you all for joining. And uh, Mary Beth, the dino, has... Uh, Lost her earring, so she is out looking for the lost earring somewhere. <laughs> floor, but she will return <laughs> at some point. And uh, thank you, Dee and Vinny, for being there and playing games and hanging out for the hall. It's been so much fun. Thanks Make for sure having guys... me. Thanks for having oh, me tonight. It was fun. I always have so much fun, and I love doing games. We got to do this more often. But, of course, yeah. it's fun having all of you guys in the chat. You made this episode just perfect uh, mary beth and laura will return next week for flipping and sipping so make sure you Yay. tune into their channel at 10 p.m eastern 9 p.m central for another great episode it's going to be so much fun they're really a part of my friday nights i just i have a routine and they're always on i think i've only missed about two episodes actually uh and that's very rare for me to miss a flipping and sipping episode. So I just enjoy it so much. And I hope you guys do as well and enjoyed me taking over and guest hosting this week. I've had fun uh, being with uh, Mary Beth the Dino and <laughs> Laura the Bonus Outfit, the fabulous <laughs> friends here on screen. So make sure you guys go subscribe to Dee and Vinny if you have not, because they are wonderful. Vinny, when is your next sale coming up? Uh, tomorrow evening at 6. And then I'm participating in that Mother's Day drop sale. That'll be at 2 p.m. for me. Pre-recorded. It's not going to be live, obviously, because it's Mother's Day. But That is going to be fun. It. And yes, and speaking of my, uh, speaking of drop sales, before I let you all uh, head out for the evening, I just wanted to mention quickly that I have gotten some emails asking where the brooches are from the drop sale that I did with Beth. That was over Easter weekend and I was traveling in St. Louis. So in that video I mentioned, I wouldn't be able to ship those until I got home. I was luckily able to ship all of my brooches with my pop-up sale from Pam because I was here with Pam's wonderful shipping supplies. She was so kind <laughs> to let me use her tape and everything and get that shipped out. So I did get those already out in the mail to you all, but I will be doing the shipping from that drop sale right when I get home, as well as all the stuff from the Vintage and Vinyl 5. So I have not forgotten about you. I am not behind on shipping. I will get that out when I'm returned. I just didn't have the space to bring all the brooches with me, and I didn't want any of them to get lost in all the shuffle, because if you could see Pam's back room, you would know why I bought so much on this trip that I wouldn't have had. Uh, the space, and I would worry that they'd get lost. So I will get all that shipped out when you I should have saw my hotel room in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an explosion that was a at Goodwill. <laughs> How did you get all that back on the train? Stuff, I really did, did. I shipped it. Oh, that's yeah. easy. I dropped yeah. her off at the train station the night before. We packed everything up in boxes. I took it home, and I think I shipped it the same week. Oh, that's excellent, Vinny. Yeah. And thankfully, there weren't that many fatalities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only had two things that got broken, so. Oh, that's, that's a good thing. That's yeah. always nice. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Of course, thank you, chat friends, for playing along and having a great time tonight in the chat. You've made this episode. Go make sure that you send Laura and Mary Beth some love next week for their returning episode. And subscribe to Vinny and D and to everyone listed down below in the description box. And of course, before my next video, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always, folks, that you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube and have a very, very wonderful evening. Bye-bye now.